welcome to another week in the life vlog. So this is another typical week in the life and this is a kind of special week in the life as well because on Wednesday there's gonna be my girls study abroad event and yeah there's just a lot going on again with uni and working and certain impacts from the environment that kind of um, stress me out a little bit and that are kind of messing with my plans but you know we're just gonna just gonna see what happens and I'm excited to take you guys along. Today is Monday, it's currently 9.15. I'm currently at the co-work, gonna go to university now to pick up um, some pens and notepads for my event. And if you guys are enjoying weekly vlogs, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to this channel if you're new because I love doing weekly vlogs, daily vlogs, weekend vlogs about my life abroad. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then make sure you consider subscribing and yeah let's just let's just continue with this video Also a way. Oh my god, how do I turn this down? This is also a way to spend your Monday morning. We are looking for toilet roll because we need toilet roll. Ross has run out of toilet roll. I ran out of toilet roll. But nowhere there is toilet roll. We just like we went to several stores. I don't know. It's just like before you buy stuff, think of people who might actually need it, who are actually at risk. Because we are all a collective, we are all a society, we're all in this together. And I just hate that, like, the idea of people just empty buying stores. I don't really know, I just, it's just really irritating. break right now and I re-downloaded Instagram I logged into Facebook as well just to check some messages because yesterday I know I just felt like super overwhelmed and just impacted in a negative way like consuming all of the news and I'm already very conscious what I consume on social media but you know stuff just gets recommended to you and people send you messages and yeah I was just feeling not in control at all about what I was consuming so I decided to quit social media before my event anyway and just go on there for like a few minutes every day to respond to important messages um, but anyway unfortunately I had to refund now someone as well for my event because she doesn't feel comfortable attending the event which of course I totally understand and um, I had to refund another girl yesterday because she was traveling home and also a few girls who wanted to attend um, won't come also because they've like traveled home or they're traveling home which is sad and I feel, yeah, I just feel very sad about it. I mean, no one can really change anything about it. It's just like something we have to accept. But, you know, sometimes when your plans change and, you know, you had this certain vision and you were really looking forward to something and then it changes and you can't really control it, it's like a bit frustrating. So far, the event is going to happen and hopefully, fingers crossed, the venue is going to stay open. Yeah, also, I'm just journaling now and I'm on the last page of my journal which is super cool finished all of this like this huge book there's just so much of my of my life in here right now um yeah on the last page of journaling of my journal and journaling always kind of helps me to shift my mindset and to like just yeah, you know just come back to what makes me feel good and not get obsessed with like all the negative things so yeah that's that's my lunch break oh Look, it's shiny. I'm zooming. Oh my god. Yep. Jesus, this is intense. Yep. Behind the scenes. Dissertation life. 
almost done. Marissa, do you want to tell us what your dissertation is going to be about? It's about how solo travel changes one's confidence. Yes! <laughs> mm -hmm. Love it. currently 8.56 so I didn't really vlog a lot yesterday afternoon and evening I just worked on my dissertation yesterday the whole day and then Marissa came over to the co-work because she interviewed me for her dissertation she's doing a documentary which is pretty cool and then I went with Marissa to Jana we had dinner we had a catch-up and yeah then I just headed home and went to bed got up this morning and yeah now uh, going back to the co-work because I have to continue doing my dissertation I updated my time plan for my dissertation yesterday and I'm a little bit behind on like my original dates but that's totally fine I now kind of restructured everything making sure that I finish everything in time so this week I really have to focus on editing all of the modules and really finishing off this online course which is going to be quite a lot of work but that's fine I can do it I'm really trying to shift my mindset because I don't know I just really have like such a hard time doing this dissertation or generally doing uni work because I don't know there are so many other things that I'm so much more excited about and that I want to do so it's kind of hard for me to motivate myself to do uni work in the afternoon evening ish I will have to go to the supermarket to get some food for the event tomorrow because I am preparing some food I still have to kind of think about what exactly I want to make I really don't know where this vlog is generally going so yeah anyway we are gonna go to the co-work now and get started it's really nice weather outside really nice spring vibes so yeah so pretty So it is 11.10 right now. I am in the co-work. I haven't started on my dissertation yet because I decided to do a Facebook live stream because otherwise I wouldn't have had a video up and I listened to this really great podcast episode. I still have to finish listening to it about, you know, how to continue creating content uh, during coronavirus and how to like deal with that. And she said that if you decide to build a community, you step up as a leader, you're signing up for also being there for that community in tough times. But yeah, from then onwards, things got a little bit tough and they still are tough because I'm just having a lot of back and forth with different people because I was very unsure whether I should cancel my event tomorrow or not. The venue here is still going to stay open. However, obviously the government advises not to have like any gatherings or events or just any human contact if it's not essential and there are people traveling, you know, up here, public transport is necessary and the event wouldn't have been what I envisioned it to be. So I kind of made the decision now to cancel it. I am going to have a call with um, an events professional soon just to get like some final guidance and advice i'm very happy that i know people who are great with events because i've never hosted an event before yeah i do feel obviously very sad very devastated because so much heart has been going into this event like this is not just an event this is part of my message as part of my community this is just 
really close to my heart. I'm obviously really sad. However, I also re recognize that it's not about me. It's about the health of the girls. And I also journaled about like, why am I doing this event? And it's about creating community connection and friendship. And for now, I can also do that online. So after the call, I'm probably gonna brainstorm how I'm gonna move this event online. Um, yeah, also I'm having a call right now with my team from work, so I am gonna hop on that call now. Okay, I just hopped off the call with my team from work. We're now kind of moving to obviously working online. I already got a lot of ideas actually on our call for content that I want to create here on the channel. I'm gonna have some lunch now and then try if I can focus again on my dissertation, although my mind is everywhere. I will probably have to write an email to the girls, the events participants, and also think about how I'm gonna do it digitally. So I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to do dissertation stuff today. I really have to, but my mind is just in other places right now. So anyway. I'm gonna have lunch now and watch some YouTube and hopefully get my mind off everything for a few minutes. Okay, so I got one and a half hours of dissertation work in, um, edited two modules. Probably gonna continue doing it in the evening as well. I have to send out an email to the event participants that I'm gonna cancel the event. I have to refund the tickets. Yeah. That's kind of sad, but needs to be done. It is now 5.11. I am at home right now. I just came home, washed my hair. Um, had some water because I felt so dehydrated and now I'm just sitting in my bed and I am gonna hop into my Facebook group now and respond to your guys' comments because there have been so many um, comments recently about you being affected by coronavirus. I haven't had the energy yet to really sit down and respond but I listen to a lot of empowering and inspiring podcasts. Um, I um, will insert them right here if you also want to listen to the episodes. Um, but I feel really empowered and inspired right now to <sighs> connect and to empower and to give back and to support. So I am gonna hop into my Facebook group now and respond to every single comment and hope that I can spread some positivity. It's it's weird. I, I, I don't know if you guys have that as well, but it kind of feels like I'm in a movie. Like this isn't really happening. Just watching some cleaning videos now because that always makes me feel so calm. And preparing dinner. We're gonna have those really, really, really yummy um, vegetarian burgers. They're so good. And I'm also... Um, making some sweet potato fries and oh, I'm very excited for this dinner. So good, yummy. <laughs>
21 um, p.m. I'm just checking in with you guys now. So got up at 6.30, had breakfast, and then I had a like group call with Susie. She's a mindset coach. She's also one of my clients and she's one of my role models. She's just amazing. So we had a call just spreading some positive vibes and yeah, it was, it was great. And then Got ready, did some yoga. I still had to do the challenge video from yesterday. I just did five minutes yesterday of yoga. And so I did the 30 minutes today. I still have to do 20 minutes from actually today um, in the evening. Yeah, I did yoga and then I started doing my dissertation. Now I am gonna do some more editing for Susie. So um, just freelance video editing project gonna continue editing and then i have a live stream at four because obviously today would have been my event so um yeah at four i'm just gonna do a live stream in the group and just to spread some positive vibes again and connect and yeah then tonight we are gonna get fish and chips which i am so excited for so yeah still some work to do and then Fun time so I'm gonna take you guys along also today is such nice weather my very super highly professional live stream setup mm-hmm next to my laundry it's beautiful <laughs> fish supper from the bay which is very popular fish and chips shop in Stonehaven and before I had this I had it the first time in November and before I had this I thought fish and chips is just horrendous but that actually tastes really yummy um, so we're just chilling here at the harbor Stonehaven is really cute if you um, ever are in Aberdeen make sure you go to Stonehaven because there's the Donata Castle and you can get fish and chips and there's also an ice cream place called Aunt Betty's. Aunt Betty's. It's really cute, so highly recommend. How Scottish can you be? It's <laughs> this amazing. is like no. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can't say no. Can I have a sip? Yeah. Life reaction. Mm, already like smelling it. It's just horrendous. <laughs> this is my people's drink. Can't can't bash this stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just so intense. It's so good. But it's like a perfect Scottish meal: fish and chips and iron brew. It just tastes like. Girders. Like, what is that? Girders. That's what that is. It's meant to be like a, a steel girder. What is a girder? The thing you build houses with. You know, like you get a steel frame and then you build all the stuff around it. It's, those are girders. I don't know. It's, it tastes like girders. It doesn't have a taste, which is That's why, why it's it tastes iron. Like hey. For people who build houses. And you uh, need the sugar. Yes. Yes. It's for people to build houses. <laughs> we are, because we haven't eaten enough food yet, we are getting a deep fried Mars bar. I'm gonna be put on the spot here, but okay, we can do this. We're getting no problem. Thanks. That's <laughs> so great! Oh. Oh. That's what it looks like. Ta da! Dreams. Okay. Like. So, deep fried Mars bar comes from a little wee fish and chip shop. Did you show it earlier? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. from a Mackie Academy student who went at lunchtime, which is the local high school here. He went and just apparently wanted to mess about with the people deep fried and all the food, brought them a Mars bar and says, I want you to deep fry this. And that is basically where it began. People just like, oh crap, this is amazing. That's so interesting, see, because I heard a story where like someone was like drunk and like put a deep fry into like a fryer. So the thing is, it's kind of mythical, but my my story is my, mine is the real. So version. is that like a, just a northeastern, northeast Scotland thing, or generally a Scotland thing? Uh, I think it's kind of evolved to Scotland as a whole, but it started in St. Even. I mean, people will argue otherwise. But... Are we doing it? <laughs> 
-hmm. It's better than the one in Everton, definitely. Mm. This is the OG. Mm. It's weird. The term you're looking for is amazing. The very first time I ever had one, I just, my mind was like, this is gonna taste like fish. This is gonna taste like fish. Mm. But once you get past that, it's fine. I mean, if you can't finish it, I'll happily finish it for you. Yay! Do you want to pose? Mm. Yay! They kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. So today is Friday, the 20th of March, currently 8.52. I didn't vlog yesterday because I actually decided to do like a day in the life separately. Um, so this will already be up by the time you're watching this vlog. So if you want to check it out, make sure you do. I shared a lot of my productivity and work from home tips. Um, so make sure you check out that video if you're interested in that. But yeah, anyway, today is really nice weather again. I'm really glad that right now it's good weather and not like depressive Scotland weather. <laughs> so that's very great. But yeah, I am gonna start working now. And gonna take you guys along again throughout the day. I already did yoga, meditation, all of the morning stuff and got ready because it's very important that you don't stay in your PJs even if you're working from home. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some work done and then check in with you guys later. editing today's video that I really have to not hurry but I have to like finish editing soon so I can export it and upload it so it goes up on time and yeah I'm just gonna continue doing that had lunch went out for a bit came back and I'm editing now and I'm probably gonna edit for the next 30 minutes because I'm come quite far already I already edited for like an hour and yeah then Probably gonna chill for a bit, have a call. I don't know, I haven't done my dissertation work today yet, but probably gonna do that later. I just did like a twerking and belly dance tutorial. Well, I first did a twerking video and then I did a belly dance video and it was really good. I know, it just felt like moving. And also I had to wait, or basically I still have to wait. I can't go onto my laptop because it's exporting my video and whenever it's exporting, yeah, you can't really use the laptop because it's too busy, too stressed, <laughs> so. I don't actually know how much I'm gonna film because it's probably gonna be quite a boring stay-at-home day but I just finished editing a video for my client that was super fun because it was an anniversary trip vlog so all the good vibes <sighs> was great so now I'm gonna 
um, move away the desk again because we use this desk now for working and when we work we like put it in the middle of the living room and then when we don't work we put it away in the corner so it's kind of like separation between work and then not work in my head anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna put it away and then do my yoga for today today's flow is like 32 minutes I think so I'm just gonna get it out of the way because I know if I don't do it now I'm just gonna procrastinate it I'm gonna do it now and then have lunch and then I'm gonna also meet um, my friend Jana. She's coming by to say goodbye because she's unfortunately leaving back home to Czech Republic. Um, and yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, but I will take you guys along. Also, I am talking quietly because my partner is currently napping, so I don't wanna wake him up because the walls here are very thin. <laughs> Hi everyone, so it is now Sunday. I'm currently editing this week in the live vlog and I realized that as per usual I forgot to film an outro. So I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along this week in the live. Comment down below if you enjoyed it and also what other vlogs you want to see. I really hope you guys are doing well, you're staying positive and yeah, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>